My name is Sabina Brennan and I'm running as an independent Shannon candidate on the Trinity panel. I'm a research psychologist in the Institute of Neuroscience in Trinity College, Dublin. I currently co-direct a dementia research programme. I firmly believe that science is for sharing and I'm really passionate about empowerment through education and so in addition to conducting research to try and understand how we might delay um, or prevent uh, dementia I also uh, develop materials that aim to raise awareness about the importance of brain health and educate people about risk and protective factors. So I'm committed to making a difference to the lives of older adults, carers and people with neurological conditions through my work as a research psychologist, as a filmmaker and as an educator. And it seems like the next logical step to take that work uh, to the Shannon in a way that can influence policy and practice. So my priorities are to be a voice for older people for carers and for people with neurological conditions. And so I'll be calling for a senior minister for older persons to implement the national positive aging strategy to include a combat ageism plan. I'll be calling for resources for public health education, for um, increased access to education for underrepresented groups, for lifelong learning, um, and also for a national human rights and equality action plan uh, and then really Ireland is becoming um, an island of strategies. We've an amazing um, strategies sitting on the shelves uh, waiting to be implemented including uh, a great neuro rehabilitation strategy and we need that to be implemented and we need resources for a renewed carer strategy and we need to fully resource our national dementia strategy. So I, I think it's important to remember that ageing doesn't start at 65, it starts at birth and brain health um, is important for everybody and everybody who has a brain is at risk for developing dementia. Um, so I think people need to consider that a vote for me would be vote, a vote for their own future. Um, and I think it's important to remember that people like me, over 50, didn't actually have an opportunity to go to university straight from school. And so um, a lot of older adults uh, won't have a vote uh, in the Trinity election. So I think it's time to turn things on their head. And last year we asked, younger people were asking their grandparents to vote for marriage equality. And I think it's time to return the favor and ask young Trinity graduates to vote for their grandparents so that they can have a voice in the Shannad and in the Oireachtas. I think the Shannad is a great vehicle for shining the light on issues that affect vulnerable groups, um, longer term issues. I think there's a danger in the doll that people focus on getting elected and then focus on getting elected the next time. So something like ageing requires a longer term view um, and older adults. So I think the Shannon is a great vehicle for giving voice to people who don't have a voice otherwise. Um, I think it also, I mean, the primary duty of any senator is to forensically examine legislation that's being put through. And I would see um, that as a really important role for me. Hu human rights and equality are my primary drivers. And I think that we really need to um, uh, so almost equality and rights proof our legislation. So that's something that I would be very actively looking at any new legislation coming through to make sure um, that it is compliant, but also that it's, it's, it's inclusive. Older adults, people with disabilities, other vulnerable groups, they're all members of the general public and they shouldn't be consigned to the margins or appendices of legislation or policy documents. We should just ensure that all our legislation is inclusive and considers everybody um, equally. My primary driver actually in a sense in running for the Shannon is to address education and health inequalities. They're inextricably linked. Um, so for example, low educational attainment um, increases your risk of developing dementia in later life. Um, but we know that if you engage in lifelong learning, even if you've left school early, you can then counteract that risk. So that's why one of my primary um, 
priority actions is investment in education across the lifespan. So to address inequalities in those who are underrepresented in third level, but then also to ensure that we see education as a much broader thing. I mean, to my mind, education is not just for school or college, education is for life. And lifelong learning needs to be supported so that as we age, actually in Ireland, we have the lowest number of people aged over 40 um, engaging in lifelong learning. Uh, and that disadvantages us um, in terms of how well we're going to age in later life because remaining stimulated and engaged in challenging activities actually um, provides a buffer against the impact of late life disease. So I'm all about the education. Okay. So uh, I went to university as a mature student, so I didn't go to university until I was 42. Um, and I did my undergrad uh, in NUI, so I got a scholarship to do uh, an Irish Research Council Science Engineering Scholarship to do my PhD in Trinity. So. Um, Probably um, it was a little bit of a lonely experience because, um, I, well, I, I think that's reflective of many PhDs. Um, I also, while I was doing my PhD, I actually worked on um, a neurodegenerative uh, research project here in Trinity. So um, most of my time was, ex was spent um, uh, gathering data from older adults and um, really working, working away on my research.